welcome to Draw at Home with Tupperberry Art. I'm Miss Kimberly and it's almost Easter time so we are going to learn to draw a bunny. So follow along, pause as you need so you can work at your own pace. The first thing you're going to do is draw an oval for a head. This will look like an Easter egg. And then inside the middle of that I want you to draw a heart. From the bottom of the heart Curve your little lines like two U's. This is the top of the mouth, and then we'll take even a bigger U that connects on the corners. There's our open mouth. If you want to add a tooth, put a little rectangle in there. Now it's time for the eyes. So one oval, and then you can even make the second one a little different shape. Maybe it's a circle, maybe it's a little bit to the side. And notice that my eyes are a little larger than the head. I thought this would just be a cute little feature. You can erase the lines you don't need on the inside and then draw your next circle inside, which is the pupil, and one more small circle, which you won't color in. That is the light reflection. I added just a couple lines around the eyes for expression and then three little lines which make the whiskers. Now it's time for the ears. So first we're gonna do is draw a line to indicate which way the ear is gonna go. This one on the right is gonna be like an upside down V because it's gonna be a bent over ear and the other ear is gonna stand straight up. Now around that ear is we're going to draw the outside of the ear. So of course it gets a little wider in the middle and comes to a point at the end. And on the right, we come around it, but watch what I do here. I'm going to draw a line underneath the line that's already there, curving it and coming to a point. Now it looks like an ear folded over and now you can erase the lines in the middle. We don't need them anymore. Inside the ears, we're just going to draw two lines that indicate the inner ear, which will probably color pink. Coming back to the shape of the head, I don't want it to look like an Easter egg. So we can just break up the lines a little bit and make it look like it has a little fur coming off. So just like your ear, how it's a little wide and comes to a point, do the same thing with your fur if you add that. Once you erase the lines, then it will all come together. Because we break everything down into basic shapes, the next is the body, which is another oval or another Easter egg, which seems very appropriate. Ready to draw some more Easter eggs? Because this is how we're gonna do the feet. You are going to draw another Easter egg or an oval. On top of that, you're going to draw three little circles. One, two, three, do the same thing on the other side, trying to match the size so they look symmetrical, so they look the same. You can erase the lines that run through the pads of the feet, and once you've cleaned that up, we're going to trace around the feet. Leave a little bit of a space as you trace around the pads, and then Make it look like those are toes as you go around the three circles. We're going to make the arms pretty simple. So we're just going to do two curved lines that come out and hide behind the feet. On the right, I'm going to throw in a little cotton tail like it's peeking out the side. And this is our bunny. It's done and it's ready to color. So if you wanna add some grass, maybe Easter eggs with some fun decoration, that's fun. So get creative and add your own little spin to it. For a white bunny, you can add a little touch of gray around the edges and a few little shadows to help your bunny pop off the page. Thank you for watching another Draw at Home with Tupperberry Art. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again.